Hey there Capricorn, welcome to your monthly terrascope for the month of November. Wonderful things coming ahead here. Uh, we're doing something a little different this month. I'm doing this spread here for a general terrascope reading and then up here these three cards will pinpoint on different areas of your life. So to begin this card here, the first card is the Ace of Staves, also known as the Ace of Wands. And to start off your beautiful month of November, this card's just going to feel like you are on top of the world. Lots of energy and motivation and even feeling a little creative. Okay, so if you've been wanting to explore something new, a different avenue, uh, perhaps an opportunity has presented itself to you in the past and now is the time to make the decision to embark on this journey this card here is telling you that it is going to serve you well to say absolutely yes to the opportunities that are rising to you very good start uh, for the month of November the second card in is the six of pentacles also known as the six of coins another really really great card this is all about being abundant feeling once again like you are on top of the world right having the things that you need um, whatever you desire the universe is working with you on a pretty fast turnover schedule for the month of November so Definitely be careful of what you wish for. If you do want something positive to come into your life, you literally just have to think about it and it will show up. Okay, um, my husband has that magic with the universe a lot of the time. So he'll be like, oh, I, I really need, you know, uh, a new, I don't know, a new snowmobile helmet. And all of a sudden, one of his buddies will call up and say, hey... I'm getting a new snowmobile, snowmobile helmet. You want my old one? It's like amazing how he works with the universe. That's going to be you, Capricorn, for the month of November. The things that you want and desire, as long as they're logically uh, fitting into your life, you know, and, and I say that because instead of just saying, oh, I'm going to play the Mega Bucks and I'm going to be a millionaire, and then, bam, it happens. Um logic anything that's logic and and what you are in line for for what the universe has in store for you for the month of November so wonderful wonderful things ahead the last card here is the king of cups this guy right here could be a man or a woman also he carries an astrology sign for it's yes it's the king of cups for cancer so if this is your moon sign or your ascending sign this is definitely you if if not then this is a cancer coming into your life as an outside source and the king of cups is someone who is quite like a healer okay someone who is very um, loyal at reliable and has a keen sense of being able to communicate without any misconceptions or uh, misunderstandings. So, if this person's coming into your life, they're, they're, they're really someone that you may look up to, uh, someone that you aspire to be someday, um, and this person brings gifts with them. They're going to help you. They're going to... Um, be somebody that you can rely on and feel supported by. So perhaps this is also someone as an outside source that's going to be coming to you and bringing you this wonderful new opportunity or someone who is going to play a part in feeling abundant because this person right here is abundant. All right. Beautiful spread. Now up here... The first card in, this is going to be the area of your life that has to do with your finances, uh, career path, 
anything that works your mind or your wallet. <laughs> um, and, I, and I chose these areas for, for everyone's lives because these are things that people are really interested about when I get um, inquiries for personal tarot readings. So I just wanted to tap into all these areas for everyone to be of more help for all of you. So this card is coming to you from the messages from your animal spirit guides, and you received the Roadrunner, which is funny. I've owned this deck for about a year now, and I don't think I've ever seen this little guy before. So the Roadrunner says, keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously. <laughs> oh, I love that. And that's great, because sometimes you really do just need to laugh it off. Even when something feels painful, I can't tell you how many times I've had, you know, I've slipped and fallen on the ice, or I've tripped over a baby toy, or, you know, a can of coffee grains falls off the counter and goes all over the floor, and sometimes you just have to laugh it off. It's the opposing emotion of anger and anxiety and fear. And so, you, you lose a $20 bill. Ha, ha, ha. Right? Right? Hey, it could be funny. Uh, you know, whenever I lose money out in the public, I just think whoever finds it needs it more than me, and I am happy to be of service. So, uh, good things. Bring that humor into play, Capricorn, and allow it to ride you through um, anything that may feel like it could be, you know, disastrous or, or arise any emotions that bring anger. Okay? The second card in is about your love life. Another area that a lot of people are interested in. You've received the Ten of Summer. This is from the Fairy Tarot Cards, Adoring Virtue. The Ten of Summer message here is an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends raising children wisely and people you can trust I really really appreciate that so many times we as human beings it's a natural thing that we do take the people in our lives for granted we just assume oh they're always going to be there when I walk through the door when I get home from work or you know they're my family. Of course, you know, they're going to be a part of my life. But sometimes you really just have to be grateful and and show your love and give a little bit more of yourself every now and then. Because when we show appreciation, it comes back to us in ten times fold. And the universe will, you know, uh, gift us with abundance when we give of ourselves. So... That's a beautiful card for your relationship, your love life. <coughs> Reach out to your partner. Uh, I've said this in a couple of other telescopes too. It seems to be kind of a theme for this month of November. But, you know, being more in touch with the person that you share your heart with. Complimenting them more. Uh, giving them a loving embrace when it's least expected. Uh, telling them that you love them, um, or just, you know, giving them something. I know a couple, they just warm my heart. They post on Facebook, um, basically how they, how they treat each other a lot. And a lot of times, you know, one of them will write a message, a little message on a piece of paper about how, how their partner inspires them to be a better person every day and how much they love them for that and they'll slip it into their you know uh, sandwich bag or their lunch that they take to work and I just I love that that's not something that you just see in the movies it, it can be a reality and it can be part of your reality and I tell you what your partner will smile from ear to ear if you you know express yourself in that way so reaching out if you're single um, appreciating what you have to offer other people. 
uh, appreciating the fact that you are single now and you're single for a reason, just like when we're partnered up with somebody, we're partnered for a reason. You know, you are learning your experiences in this time and when your time is ready to be connected with somebody, you will be so prepared and you will be so ready to take that on. I just saw a video recently this um, man did about um, women and and guys and how, you know, he says, be strong for your partner, you know, prepare yourself to be in a relationship. Don't just want something because you want it. Want it because you are ready for it and you have so much to give to someone else. Powerful messages. Okay, the last card in this is tapping into your uh, family, friends, your social uh, life. And I'm pulling from my soul cards deck. So these are just in intuitive reads with the pictures. Here I see somebody who is a little bit of a stick in the mud. Wow, it's snowing right now. I just heard like those ting, ting, ting on my roof. And uh, there's snow coming out of the sky, you guys. Whoa, crazy. I'm in Maine, so it's it's exciting, but, you know, not not out of the ordinary either. Okay, so back to your reading. <laughs> okay, so this person right here is somebody who's stuck in the mud, stuck in their ways. Uh, someone, I see them being kind of like an older figure, a family or, or a family member or a friend who, um who needs you to reach out to them. Seems like that's kind of coinciding with your love card too. Reaching out and just saying, hey, you know, do you need to talk? Do you need support? Do you need to go out and have a cup of coffee? Um, reaching out to this person, perhaps tapping into your Roadrunner card, bringing in your sense of humor, making them crack a smile, cracking that you know, solid exterior, um, and that, that stuck in the mudness. So somebody in your life is going to need you during the month of November to come in and brighten their day. All right. That wraps up your tarot scope for November. I am so blessed to be able to read for you and have you be a part of my YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much. I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate and a blessed month of November. Thank you again, Capricorn. Bye-bye for now.